Okay, you're back with the Passion Fruit Walrus, and we're briefly backtracking to, I th think, this area. What the hell is that floating on the ground? Oh well. Uh, basically, we're going back to an area in Forest of the Giants, uh, where the, um, I can't remember what his name is, but uh, it's an NPC, and he's big on maps. And inside the ma uh, mansion in Majula, there is, in fact, a big map. Which I want to go and have a look at. Not because I need to, but because there is a treasure chest in there and I want to see if there's anything good in there. Right then, down here. So I can't remember if we were actually in this area much before. Basically, if you can see the uh, that hole, the cave on my uh, right, oops, there, we need to go in there. Oh fuck, 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 oh fuck's sake. Ugh. And that's what happens when you don't pay attention in Dark Souls 2, or any Dark Souls game. Okay then. Let's try that again. Without being a dick. Right, okay. Uh, yeah, just ignore those fuckers for a minute, because I don't want to actually fight these guys up here. They're just, uh... There. Right, okay. Down we go again. And this time I'll try and pay attention. You do get a lot of people shooting arrows at you in this area while you're trying to do stuff. Which is a bit of a nuisance. How many of these fuckers are there? Oh, never mind, it doesn't matter. Right, uh... Right, okay. Okay. Oh, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. Right. And that's how you do it. Ah, oh dear, oh dear. Right. And I could kill them, but I just can't be asked right now. Because that's not actually what I want to be doing at this moment. Wait, because there's a boulder. Bloody boulders. Right, got a human effigy. At least that's something. And you want to go up here and have a long, boring conversation with this chap. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just daydreaming. My name is Kale. I'm a traveler, like yourself. I'm navigating the continent to create a map. And you have to keep getting prompted to talk. Well, that's a good question. When I first came into this forsaken land, it was... Um, Curse? Uh, something about a curse? <laughs> How embarrassing. I seem to have lost my focus. But I do know one thing for certain. I have always been very fond of maps. I came to this land some time ago. Drang Lake, the Lost Kingdom. It sounded so romantic. Dumbass. Have you seen Majula? Well, there's a rather spacious mansion there. I've made it my temporary home. Well, as something of a squatter, I'm afraid. Inside the mansion, I found a strange map, like none I'd ever seen. I believe that it's a map of Dranley. Now I'm traveling the land to prove it. Yes. Yes, that's it. That's why I came to the kingdom. Wait. No. That wasn't it. Then what? I don't seem to recall. 
So as you can see, he's got all his marbles. Were you looking for that map? Wonderful. Then you are fascinated by maps, just like me. Shame on you. You should have told me before. Here, take this. A key to the mansion. What a joy to meet a king. Okay, thank you, bye. And that's how you get the key to the mansion. So now we're just heading straight back to uh, my jeweler. But I think I might go the long way, which... Um, yeah, I don't think I want to jump down there. Nope. So when you come out of here, there's a ladder, of course. And a couple of little zombie people to kill on the way back. And, uh, yeah. Inside the mansion, there is a skeleton. And, uh, I'm not sure if there's anything good down there or not. I'm slightly hoping that there might be a shard down there. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. I don't think that's anything particularly amazing. Hmm, I wonder what happened to the, uh, the ninja turtle. Back to Medulla. Yeah, I normally I do that sort of very early on in the game, but I I'm completely forgot about it, so uh, that's why we're doing it now. So we'll just have a quick look at this mansion. It's not really much of a mansion. I mean, it's a tiny little house, really. Although I suppose it's the biggest house in Majula, which doesn't really say much, because they're all fucking shacks that you couldn't really live in, but... Anyway, right, so... Uh, there's definitely a twinkly in here, but I can't remember what it is. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's lockstone. Okay, that's not too bad. Some big old books. And we can go both downstairs and upstairs. That's downstairs, so we're going up first. There's a treasure chest. Tide Knight Shard and a torch. Oh, is that all? I was hoping for better than that. Uh, was there another one on the ledge? No, there wasn't. Okay then, so... Right. Back downstairs then. So, um... Yeah, that looks like a chest, but unfortunately it's just scenery. So this is the map that he was talking about. Um, each of the uh, the main bosses that you kill or find or something lights up a uh, a fire on the map. You start out with just one, I think, uh, by the time you find him. Okay. And there's another chest in here. soul vessel. Ah, that's disappointing. Oh, an Estus flash, flask, flask, shard. Good, there was one in there. So yeah, two shards in Medulla. One is down the well and one is in the mansion. Right. I did do the one in the well, didn't I? Yeah, he's up, so I must have done. 
Okay. So we'll get the shard used. And... Hmm, then what? Maybe I'll get the pyromancy anyway and just see if... Uh, is that a shop? Here yes, it is, I know. However... Uh, uh, yeah, just see if I can get the, uh, the pyromancy thing and uh, see if it's worth anything. Uh, what the fuck is that? Oh, okay. wonder why I dropped it. Well. Likewise. I'm glad to see you haven't put any clothes on. Uh, reinforce the flame. Alright, I've got a fire seed. Uh, that's what you do with that. Uh, try one of them. fact, actually I don't even know if I've got an attunement slot or not, I'm always here. So come and see but a thought occurs that if I've got pyromancy I could just try throwing fireballs at the, um, the, uh, the sort of oil pools in, uh, in whatever it is, Black Gulch, rather than, um, trying arrows, which I don't know where I'm supposed to buy them. Uh, it could be that Magarol chap in, um, in the Iron Keep. I'm pretty sure, um, that... Oh, what the hell's his name? Now, we could also do the, um, the campfire area in, uh, Brightstone Cove, because we just ran past that, and there are some goodies down there. I'm not sure if there's a shard or not, but we could have a look. And okay, let's murder some uh, nightly bastards. With me groovy level 10 mace. Shit, I bloody stamina. Always with the stamina. <laughs> Rather a lucky hit. The downside to this, of course, is that there are um, guys on towers that shoot arrows at you while you're trying to deal with all these little pricks on the on the ground. Ah, uh, right. Aha! <laughs> it was quite satisfying when you roll just in time, and he shot me in the knee. It's a good thing I'm not playing Skyrim. One of the things we want to do is go down that well. Where there is one of the uh, the few mimics in the game. Mm, arrows again. Where is that giant pig? I could have sworn there was a giant pig. Maybe I was just a lower level the first time I came here and it's uh, it just seemed like the, the, the pigs were harder than they were this time. Okay, anything else in these things? What the hell was that? Oh, just some guy's armour. Uh, I think we've been in all the tents now. Yep, looks like it. Okay, so that's them all dead. They were surprisingly easy, but then I'm... I've levelled up quite a bit since the first time I was here. 
in this playthrough, and also the first time I was here in general, probably. Right. Do I hear a pig? Okay, I could have sworn there was a giant pig, but... It's basically like the two little ones, but bigger. Yeah, oh well. So, um, in order to get down this well, it's a bit tricky. You sort of have to, um... You have to manage to sort of jump and roll or something in such a way that you break the roof and then either fall down the well or you have to sort of come back and then then uh, jump down it afterwards. It's a pain in the ass trying to get down there. I suppose it's a sort of secret area for the game or something so they sort of deliberately want you to be able to knock. Ah, there we go! Good, that's the top gone. Just need to get into the hole now. Nope. Oh, fuck. Okay. What is making that noise? Is there a horse somewhere? Oh, fucking hell. Come on. Yeah, it's all good trying to get the jump right. I, uh... I find... Yes! Oh, don't fall off the edge, you idiot. Right, and piggy! Aha! Maybe that's what was making noises. Right, he's dead, I got the twinkly, whatever the hell that was. And... We end up inside that house that's sort of broken down. Like this. Right, now... Okay. And this chest is in fact a mimic, so let's... Oh shit. No, don't eat me. Fuck. Let's just quick. Hit him, hit him. Got him. Dark le leggings and a staff of wisdom. Oh well. I was hoping for a shard, but there we go. I'm sure I've missed some of them. Right, anyway, that's that's that area. a couple of loose ends before I um, head back to have another go at the rotten. So we're going back to the shaded woods. What I want to do is um, remove one or two of the statues. Um, there's there's one um, I think we saw it last time, which is quite close to where we saw Tark, and um, I want to um, get rid of that, and uh... oh cock, there we go. I think that's where Vengal's body is. I don't know what you get if you kill him, but uh, I'm sure there's something. It might just be his swords or something, or it could be the armor set. Yes, of course I want to use it. Oops. Lock onto him, damn it. Right. Hello. That was good. Definitely worth waking up for. 
Right. Uh, where is he? Yeah, oh, there he is. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, this is Vengal's body. Come on. Come out into the open, you bastard. Your head's very cross with you. Yeah, and then we get the rest of Vengal's set. Which we might try on later, but I think it's quite heavy. Torch, good. Uh, what else have we got? Can't get out of here this way unless we uh, use another branch, which I don't think it's worth doing just now. Now, I don't remember where the key is. There's a key in this area, uh, the Fang Key, which opens up uh, an NPC called Ornifex, who does um, boss weapons. No oh, bugger. Cursed. Where the hell is the door? Oh, there it is. going this way in the next part, so thank you for watching. Uh, yeah, in the next part we'll um, head over to like the edge um, by the tree bridge that gets us back to the bonfire, and uh, I think the guy there is supposed to have the, the fang key. I could be wrong, but we'll have a look, and we'll do that next time. So thank you for watching, and bye-bye for now.